What's up people, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So today, I'm gonna give you a shit ton of tips and tricks for Serato. And before I start, do me a solid, hit that like button for the algorithms, and if you don't subscribe, please hit the subscribe button. I got a ton of content on the way. Now there's a ton of awesome features with Serato that I think a lot of people sleep on, so I decided to make this video and put it all together, and hopefully you grab a little nugget from this you didn't know and you can use in the future. Now for all you virtual DJ users, I am working on a video now, it's gonna be out next week, and it's gonna give you all the details about, I'm just kidding, I'm not. <laughs> Now I want to start this video off with a bunch of really useful Serato keyboard shortcuts, so get your pen ready. Now I'm going to go right down the list of these things, and just so you know, it's going to be the same exact thing for a PC, only instead of command, I think it's going to be control, or whatever replaces command, I, I think it's control, I don't know. Now I want to start things off with the oh shit shortcut. Now let's say you messed up, right? Picture it. You're DJing, the crowd's rocking, and you accidentally put a song in the wrong deck over top the song that was playing, right? The whole dance floor stops, everybody's looking at you. Command Z and Serato will automatically put the other song you had on there that you like messed up and replaced and it's gonna start it at exactly where you replaced it. Now it's not gonna cover up your mess up but it'll bring you right back to where you were before you messed up and people will just forget about it and just keep dancing so you're good. It's still kind of a lifesaver. Not a total lifesaver, but a lifesaver. Next is Command Arrow Right or Left. Command Arrow Right or Left Left will load whatever song you have highlighted in Serato to the right or left deck. Tired of scrolling through your crates, clicking all audio, and then clicking the search box before you look for a song? Don't be tired anymore. Command F will automatically search all your files and go right to that box. So all you gotta do is hit Command F and then search whatever song or artist you wanna hit and everything will come right up. The famous AM mode can be enabled by hitting Alt and that, uh, that sideline. I have it right here. The, um, what's that line called? It's a line, but it's, you know? And if you don't know what AM mode is, it basically hides the tracks you're playing. So in case you have like DJs behind you, you know, you don't want them to know what kind of track you're playing. Even though nowadays you have Shazam and they're going to pretty much figure it out. But maybe it's a deep remix. I don't know. But still regardless, it's pretty cool that you can hide the tracks that you're playing, you know, kind of hopefully protect your bangers. You know, those are your bangers. You want nobody to know your bangers. Those are your bangers. Now let's say you want to throw some songs and prepare. Instead of manually dragging them in there, you can select one or multiple songs and hit Command P and it'll automatically add it to that section. Now the last couple of shortcuts have to do with library management and they're super useful. If you select one song and hit Command R, it'll automatically bring up the finder and show exactly where that song is located on your computer or hard drive. And that really just comes in handy if you just wanna know where your file's at. And keep in mind too that you can grab one song or any multiples like groupings of songs and just drag them onto your desktop and it'll take those files and copy them onto your desktop. So let's say like you had a grouping of songs that you wanted to share with another DJ, you know, maybe you're doing some music management or whatever, you can just drag all those songs right to a folder on the desktop and bam you have copies of those mp3s right on the desktop to share with any of your homies now command delete as you probably know will delete any file or groupings of file out of your crates but if you're deleting dupes or you're trying to get rid of files altogether command shift delete will send any file or grouping of files directly to your trash can i use that all the time all the time. That's it for the shortcuts. Now I want to talk about a couple really cool Serato features. Now let's say you have a song and Serato got the BPM wrong. It happens every once in a while. If it's an older song, wasn't recorded well, or doesn't have like a distinctive beat, sometimes Serato's beat grids or whatever messes up and it's just the wrong BPM altogether. And you think it's 90 BPMs, you go to mix it and it's a train wreck, right? Happen to all of us. Well, in Serato, you can tap the BPM of any song. So if you think a song's a little off, just tap up there in the corner to the beat, and then Serato will automatically pick up that BPM and reset it for you, so there's no train wrecks in the future. Now, within Serato's file management, there's a bunch of different things you can do, right? You got the key, so you can mix and key, which is cool, the BPM, the play count they just added, which is super cool, but there's two things that I think a lot of people sleep on that you might wanna consider using. Number one is the comments section. If you add the comments section, you add comments to certain songs, that's searchable. So if you just add a comment, let's say dance hall to all your dance hall tracks, you know, or anything, and you search dance hall by hitting Command F on the keyboard, of course, right? You search dance hall, all your dance hall tracks are gonna come up. So you can organize and put little sub notes on all your files and easily find them again. And you could do that with anything. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless. Like you could put a white girl note in there. You can put like any note that pertains to any certain type of subgenre or type of song or, 
you know, songs that you like to use all the time, just put those in the comments and then it's searchable and those songs will pop right up when you search for that. Now another cool thing is the composer section. This is great if you do weddings and stuff, if you have an assistant that might be like a little newer, you wanna make sure they're on point, well you can add that section and then next to like the first dance song, label it as first dance. Next to the parent dance song, label it as parent dance and so on and have all the formalities labeled. So just in case they get out of order for whatever reason, like it's just like another double check that your assistant can do to make sure that they drag the right song and it keeps everybody on point. Or you too, I mean maybe you drag the wrong song. You know, maybe you're working alone and you know, you're running around doing stuff and you end up dragging the wrong song you know like this is the perfect way to kind of keep yourself in check by doing it right there in the composer section the next is saved loops i love saved loops i have so many in serato i use them all the time essentially what it is is you make a loop ahead of time and you can save it within serato when you load up the song again you can activate the loop and then when the song gets to whatever part that has the loop it'll automatically loop it from there and it works great if you're doing word plays different routines and stuff it just allows you to just have those loops in there. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about hitting the loop live like we had to do back in the day and mess it up, you know, and you end up train wrecking if you hit the loop wrong. Like, I sucked at hitting loops before, like, these features came out. I sucked at it. Like, I would, one out of ten times, I'd get a loop right. I don't know why. I just, I would just get nervous, and I'm like, oh, out, 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 and I would hit it wrong, like, every time. Literally every time, I, I just, so this saved my life. So having this is just like the best. Uh, it's in there, you can activate it anytime and the possibilities are endless with it. And the final Serato feature I really wanna tell you guys about was Serato Flip. I probably do a whole video on this. My homie DJ Fly like really showed me kind of how it works and like reintroduced me to it. And I've been addicted ever since. I've been like making so many flips. Essentially what it is, is it saves as metadata. So it doesn't save as like a new file or nothing, but like you automatically, when you set a flip, you're telling Serato Serato to go to this queue, then maybe another queue, then back to another queue. Like you're telling it where to jump and then Serato automatically jumps in the songs to certain points. Why would I need that, Nick? Hold on, I'll tell you. <laughs> So what I've been using it for is basically like any song that I'd normally use a short edit for, I can use the original song and create a flip and then skip verses, skip choruses, skip to the end or skip to the bridge of the certain song without having to do anything and it doesn't save as a new file, it just saves within that song like as metadata. So bam, I have like a flip now where it's either I can have the full version or a short edit with the flip in one file. So now I'm able to delete all my short edits. I'm able to delete any kind of edits that I had that did what Flip can just do automatically with the original file. It's saving a ton of hard drive space and you can get really creative with it too, you know? There's a ton of things you can do with it that saves you time from having to just go edit in Ableton or any of the other things. But that's it, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions or comments or anything, leave it in the comment section below. I'll get right back to you and I'll see you guys next video.